Astana has held a regional conference about empowering women in Afghanistan. The event, which brought together various political figures from the Central Asian region, opted for education as the main weapon in the struggle for the inclusion of Afghan women in all social, political and economic spheres. Speaking at the conference, Nobel Peace Laureate Tawakal Karman said true progress will not be seen in issues that concern women unless it's combined with a total social transformation. A paradigm shift involving the state, the law, the judiciary, the human rights system and of course education. The Yemeni journalist, politician and activist advocated profound changes that lead to real results in the struggle for dignity and equality. And she talked about the importance of education as the basis for any transition for Afghani women and to cure extremism. Also speaking at the gathering, Afghan Minister for Women's Issues Dilba Nazari agreed and acknowledged that illiteracy is the main obstacle in the struggle, especially in the rural areas of her country. She said that many women who live in villages do not know their rights due to illiteracy and no access to the internet compounds the problem. Nazari also talked about the improvement in women's situation in Afghanistan, although she acknowledged that government work is hampered by military actions. In addition, the United States and the European Union showed their support for this regional conference with videos of Ivanka Trump, daughter and advisor to US President Donald Trump, and the EU High Representative for Foreign Policy, Federica Mogherini. The event concluded with the adoption of the Astana Declaration, which emphasized the importance of the participation of women in the process of national reconciliation, as well as the need to work for the full inclusion of women in education and the workforce.